privatisation side of it absolutely decimates the community. When the SEC uh, was privatised, the whole area started to collapse. The work dried up. Uh, all the contracts stopped happening, so the, the money stopped flowing. Local economy, the shops, yeah, they had so many good things in place. On a Friday night in Mall, they brought in um, the first, it was the first town to bring in late night shopping till nine o'clock on a Friday night, and you couldn't move. You just couldn't move in town because everyone was out, everyone was shopping, everyone was socialising. So even on that level, it just, you, you lose all of that. You lose all, all, the, um, all the, the community stuff all goes. Break up, marriage breakups. It really, really, uh, it was really hard for them. Yeah. If you go back to when the privatisation started to hit and after the second and third contractors started to get in, uh, the Gippsland region went from the highest, uh, from the, the highest employment area to the highest unemployment area in the state. Um, we had the highest crime rates and alcohol and drug abuse and child abuse in the region at, at one stage, if you went into the 90s. Uh, the whole area went into decline, a social decline. Uh, it was quite very dramatic. If you look at throughout the world, uh, usually it takes uh, 10 years for the, uh, for the area to collapse into that decline, and it probably takes you another two, uh, another 10 years to drag yourself out, basically. It's, um, it's a long, long period. If there's no work, they have to move away. All the, appren all the apprenticeships stopped and it all went to a private organisation again, and I see the effects of that now, like the skills are down. Uh, there is no apprentices employed, where there was 800 employed with the SEC. Wrong. There's generations, you know, probably two generations of kids that have missed out on, on having good, good jobs, and that's due to privatisation, nothing else. During that whole period of the SEC, uh, it, it was very tough. Privatisation was brought upon us, and uh, really, it's just decimated the decimated the property prices in the area. I would say that the sheriff had knocked on my door, like they had knocked on just about everybody else's door, wanting to, uh, their their debts to be paid, and uh, so there was no money. There was no. Uh, it was a very tough time, uh, and we just thought we would lose our house. Now I'm. Uh, a fanatic against privatisation. It's um, and all that money they made, it's all going overseas. Does the country no good? The SEC workers then, uh, their jobs were guaranteed with the new contract. And I think everyone thought, you know, we'll take the money and, and then we'll just go straight back to work, which never happened. The biggest problem that work, retired workers and people what were not so much retired age, but come into retired age, would uh, accepted the packages, which the which were offered, especially in the second wave of contracts. There was packages offered for people to go. After I took the package, there was about ten years. There was virtually no work around the joint. It was like it just the, the whole area just fell in a hole. Those people would picked up the packages then thought, oh, well, we'll just go and mow lawns or we'll go and set up a little business. And of course, the economy was collapsing all around it. Getting work, I was unemployed for a long time. Like over 10 years, I think I worked four. Yeah, it went from a very, very prosperous, happy community to, to one of no future, basically. I remember going to um, a meeting um, when they were talking about the privatisation at the Mall Football Oval and they were, um, they were talking about what they were proposing to, to do and I just remember two um, UK fellas, that, older fellas that got up and just spoke about their experiences in the UK probably under Thatcher and that it did, privatisation didn't work and I remember they, they were more or less laughed off you know because people were saying well that's not what we're being promised, that'll never happen to us and lo and behold it did, so, yeah. And then when the contracts changed, 
that was when the real effects started to hit the SEC workers because from then on every contact was cheaper and so then they started to decline and, and cut out the workers. The promised things wouldn't change much, you know, but it's, it's, just, it's just stripped all of, stripped everything away, everything. Accepting packages, thinking that it was something good, it sounded good at the time, but it didn't last long in the overall scheme of things. Don't privatise. Don't privatise it.